World War III, South Korea demand control of U.S. military to instill fear in North Korea. South Korea has called for an early transfer of operational control of troops from the U.S. in worrying war fears, it has been revealed. Back in September, President Moon Jae-in revealed his intention to call for the move. During the nation's Armed Forces Day ceremony, he said South Korea should have wartime operational control to instill fear in North Korea and win the trust of the citizens, and that retrieving wartime operational control will boost military development and place South Korea at the center of East Asian security, based on independent defense capabilities. Operational control refers to a right to control military operations. This is usually given to the head of the sovereign state, however, South Korea gave its operational control to the U.S. General Douglas MacArthur in 1950 after the outbreak of the Korean War. The South claimed back its peacetime operational control in 1994, although the wartime operational control is still held by the commander of the Combined Forces Command, this is a U.S. general. There has been an ongoing debate on South Korea's military operational control for over 10 years. It was initially thought the date would be set for the handover of control, however, after a series of delays this was postponed indefinitely until certain conditions were met during a 46th security consultative meeting in October 2014. Moon Jae-in's calls for military control come as the U.S. and North Korea are on the verge of World War III. South Korea's Defense Minister Song young mu recently claimed that nuclear tests are part of the despot leader Kim Jong-un's plot to maintain a stranglehold over his people during a time the nation is plagued with sanctions. The ministry declared North Korea will fire more missiles as a means of survival. During South Korea's end-of-year meeting today, Defense Minister Song young mu claimed the nation has maintained the watertight defensive stance over its aggressive neighbor. The meeting involved over 150 senior commanders from across the country. This year has seen six nuclear tests and 15 ballistic missile launches from the isolationist state. South Korea also warned of a tactical escalation from its neighbor that could see it cross the northern limit line, an artillery attack or a hacking operation. With the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympic Games on the horizon, the South reiterated its commitment to ensuring a successful